It's looking at the lift bank. I think that's the lift bank. What have we got? Yep, that's the lift bank over that side. Yeah, bits of aluminium down there. Yeah, lots of aluminium down there. Oh, a bit of chunks of piston. Yeah, it's the side that was sort of okay. Now. To the right bank. Let's get this out of the way. Not a lot of aluminium in that one. There's some over there, maybe. Side flash and the one that's fudged. Hmm. And there was that valve slightly offset. Would not surprise. Mainly oil. Oil, oil, oil. Right, let's keep tearing it down. So the exhaust headers look uh, rather oily. I don't know if you can see down the hole. Little bits of aluminium. And it is yuck. Carbon, yep, but oil, yeesh. Gonna take a bit of cleaning. Oh, a lot of cleaning. Guess you can say it's not gonna rust, but it fucking shouldn't be being stainless, but hey. That one actually looks dry. Weird. Hmm. Alright, let's have a look down the exhaust ports. And you're seeing it at the same time I'm seeing it. Yeah, very oily. So apparently this is the good side. Right, let's go around to the buggered side. Oh yeah. 
you can see pretty much all the way down to the floor. I can see light. Looking through the bed one, and we won't be needing that anymore. We can go good boy. Mmm, <laughs> gunky. And the bed cylinder. I can see the top of a valve there. Let's actually get that. Let's see the top of a valve there. But that one's sitting a little bit low. Hmm. I guess one of them's a little bit bent, shall we say? Yeah. That one's wide open. That one looks like it's closed. Bad, 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 bad. What about this one? Probably full of oil in that cylinder. Cue. Ugly. some coolant in there. Oh, two bolts to go. Trying to get this bastard off is a little bit tricky. And the engine isn't seized when you uh, crank on it with the big bar. It does rotate not very nicely. So We'll let this drain out before I pull the final bolt off. Yeah, messy business. <laughs> This is the left hand, left hand bank. Um, everything looks pretty good. That is not actually pitting. That is more like just oil corrosion on the side, where it's not actually scraping. Um, there's no noticeable damage. I can't feel anything with my fingernails at all in fact you can see it scraping off the oil when I run my finger across there was a little bit of shit on these but on these lobes but I'm picking that was when I actually removed removed the um, cam covers and it might have just had some shit fall down from that um, other than that this side looks pretty clean in fact you can see it's it's a pretty good engine by the looks of it there's not any crud or slop it's just nice clean oil in there it looks almost like a brand new engine in there. Hmm. So maybe these heads might be good. Um, cam gears on the front. VVT system. I think these will be good for the built engine. And still good condition. Hopefully these ones don't explode. Um, yeah. I'll next do the right hand side and expect some carnage. Nothing going to hold. Um, I'm expecting at least one valve to be 
bent, one or two valves to be bent on the other side, if not four of them. Um, let's find out. got here I'm pretty sure that's a piece of piston yeah. more piston yeah what do we got here that feels yeah that might be piston scooter Ooh. so it's gone that far down Let's just take that aluminium out of my finger. I think that's a bit of piston ring. And I think we've got the oiling, part of the oiling ring here. <laughs> yeah. More bits of piston. Lovely. So if we can find anything that identifies. I think one of them had... Actually, some numbers on it. Hmm. Rather large piece. Rather mangled. Very, very mangled. Oh, yeah. There's a little bit of gungeon pin. Retaining pin. C clip. Yeah, I'll add that to the pile. Yeah, look, there's some over here too. Nice. <sighs> Clean up ahead. Right, this is going to be rather hard to do with one hand, but hey, we'll give it a go. Yeah. Bit of piston, munch, munch, munch. Yeah, she don't look pretty down there. She don't look pretty at all. And the tray looks a little bit worse for you. You spin me right round, baby, right round. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, not nice. Not nice at all. That's not quite supposed to do that. Yeah, that might be hard to get off as well. Hmm. Depending on how much damage is done. Uh, hopefully the crank's not a write-off. Right, let's see if we can actually have a look further up. Yeah, that's not pretty. Now, nah, block is a write-off. Right, let's keep tearing it down.
So the right hand bank is off, cylinder head. Um, so we've got still bits of shit that came through from the other cylinder. Whoops, that's just gone down there. Never mind. Um, so, hmm. We'll worry about that. So, that's some signs of scraping on the cylinder wall. Uh, I don't know if that's actually from the final letting go or whether that was scraping for a little bit, as in gone out of round. Who knows? Um, that's clearly damage from the engine letting go. So is that, and yep, that's pretty deep. So this. The bore is unrecoverable, apart from just lining, completely replacing the the bore and putting liners, which really isn't worth it at this stage. So, the thing that I want to take note of is this. How long has that been happening? And was that what led to it actually finally failing? I think it might. It may be, but you'd think if it's scraping there, surely it'd be scraping over this side as well. Maybe there. Maybe that's a sign of scraping. Maybe. Hmm, don't know. Right, let's have a look at another lovely cylinder full of oil. It is getting some some sign of scraping the wall. Maybe. But you can still see the, the hone marks. Hmm. A little bit of scraping there. And what have we got it's over this side? So I suppose once the pistons come out, we'll have a bit of a look and see 